afternoon guys how's everyone doing so today guys I've come to a place called Naisba which is about four five miles from Harrogate has a population of 15,000 people and uh, I'm going to be showing you around the castle the beautiful uh, lake and uh, showing you bits of this town so to show you where I am now so I am by the Half Moon Free House pub which this road leads to the famous ca castle, the bridge and uh, you will notice everywhere you go in the UK now that you see a lot of uh, Jubilee flags of the UK so today is Saturday the 28th of May 2022 and when you walk along this particular road here you'll find a lot of really nice houses uh, and it will lead to some really cool places but when you walk along here you just got to watch where you're walking because of the traffic here but when we get to the main area of where I want to show you you'll see how beautiful it is but I'm just right by the famous river and the beautiful bridge in Nesba and uh, you can hire your boats where you can row along here which is good and there's a number of places where you can potentially eat and drink at so you can go for walks right above here along this side here You've got a place called the Riverside Cafe along the right hand side here which looks to be pretty busy as you can see and uh, you can also buy ice cream, have tea and coffee and stuff they do milkshakes, they do breakfast here toast of sandwiches etc so you can sit outside there and Along this left hand side here, you've got the, the restaurant here now. This place is always busy, uh, but to show you where I am right now. So you've got the view of the lake and the beautiful bridge along here, where you'll see trains go along there. You've got the famous restaurant, which you have to queue up. So if you come to the restaurant here, guys, you're going to be waiting quite a long time. So Patience is the key if you want to sit and dine at that particular restaurant, but I'm sure it's worth it for the views and admiring the, the nature and uh, You've got another place where you can buy ice cream too And it's busy around this area now as you can see So the place which I've just shown you is called the Marigold so check it out guys and uh, they've also got another place up here where you can buy ice cream as well if you just want ice cream but this is one of the most famous places if you come to Naisba so if you guys want to know where you can uh, where you bought some then this is the area where you want to be going to so it's been established since 1882 uh, they're open from March to October every day from 10 a.m. and the website is nesberboats.co.uk uh, they're on Facebook and also depends on the weather too uh, so this is the area where you can relax have picnics and uh, I'm going to show you the prices now of uh, how much it is to go on the rowing boat trip here and this is where I am right now absolutely beautiful here guys and I can just sit relax admire the views you know and there you have it guys absolutely beautiful so we're going to go for a little wander now towards uh, the town itself of Naysborough 
and uh, I'm going to get some lunch very shortly. But if you guys are looking for a pub to drink at, then you've got a pub called The World's End along this side here. So they'll do all the drinks you want, food, beer, and uh, you'll come up to the main road of when you come to this area. You can also go for a walk along the waterside down there. And this road will lead to Mother Shipton's Cave along here too. So up ahead guys, that is Mother's Shipton Cave. So if you want to go in there, then you can. You've got a bus stop up here too, which will take you back into Harrogate. And uh, there you are, you've got the view of the, the, the famous bridge, the rowing boat. Uh, you've got the pub there, I've just shown you. So, and I'm going to get some food and show you more of Nesba. Take in the views, guys. Absolutely beautiful band here. So you've got the church right on this side here. Uh, you can sit down there. You've got the flags for the Jubilee and just admire the greenery guys. Absolutely beautiful. So this path here leads to the town centre of Nysbe and it's also not too far from the train station. So if you guys have come on the train uh, the train station is up here. You've got a pub of a shunt along this left hand side here as you can see Where you can have some drinks, have some food So that is the name of the pub and restaurant if you want to go and check that out Outside here you've got the the train station on there which which I'm not gonna film inside because you're not allowed but if you want to know where the station is then this is just where you have to go. Uh, it's a really short journey if you're coming from uh, Harrogate or from Leeds. So just a bit of travel information for you guys who are thinking of coming on the train to Nysbe. And up here too you've got another place where you can uh, eat and drink at on on that side there too not too short on the name of the place uh, but I know that's a that is a restaurant ah okay so I think it's called the bear so that's the name of the pub and restaurant why by the station and it's called the bear cabbages and uh, it leads to the main town train you've got to watch yourself too when you've got traffic along here so now we're going to be walking into the town centre of uh, Nysbe so we're in the main town centre of Nysbe where you'll find a wine shop uh, you've got a restaurant on on this left hand side here too uh, but you've got to watch yourself when you're walking on here and this is the monument on this centerpiece here where you can relax. You've got a bakery along this side here. You've got a cafe nearby along there too. And it's just so nice to see many people out today. You know, this is the first time I've come to Nysbe since COVID and it's just so nice without any restrictions so you see it guys you see a couple of retail shops along here uh you've got the market tavana which is a pub on this side here somewhere to buy energy drinks and stuff or anything you want there if you get thirsty
He's like, who goes for coffee shop at that? So you've got a butcher's along this side here. Uh, you've got a dog grooming place on this left hand side here if you've got a dog. A place to buy donuts and cookies and stuff. And uh, look what I found on one here too. So you've got a salon on one here, you've got a, a sweet shop. So let's go and check that out. So that's all your sweets on this shop here as you can see. You've got like a little tea room on here too. And uh, that comes to a dead end, but that's just a little area where you can uh, maybe have some sweets or chill out in the coffee shop right up there or a tea room shall I say. You've got the art mill all on here too guys. And uh, the name of the street is called Green Dragon Yard, so and check that out as well for the picture there. Pretty nice. So that's what this area is along here. If you guys are a fan of ice cream, you've got the Buy More Wheel Dairy Ice Cream along here. You've got the Cross Keys pub along there too. It is an absolute beautiful day today in Naysborough. And it's getting warmer as the day goes along. But this is a nice little place, you know. If you're not been to Nesba, guys, get yourself down here. You know, it's an absolute beautiful place. Um, if you're local and you need plumbing, plumbing things or heating things, then the shop here, if you need anything fixing for your, your pipes and stuff at home. And up ahead, you've got the holy Trinity Church. So I've shown you a bit of this town. It is a very nice place. And to top it off for the name of the street, it's called Cheapside. <laughs> Quite a funny for a name. Uh, so you've got Gracious Street along here. So you've got the church there. Pretty nice. Just letting the traffic through as you can see. And if you guys want to know another place where you want to drink at, then you've got this place here called the George and Dragon. And you'll find wines, ales. They've got a beer garden too, which is fantastic. And it's a nice little walk along down this hill here too. And I think there's another pub along here too. So I'm just going to cross this road here. And you've got this place here called the, the Wellington Inn. So if you want to know where the beer garden is for that, then you just go through there. But there you go guys, that's just some of the town of Naysborough I've just shown you. If you guys are looking for more pubs to drink at or another pub to eat at, you've got this place here. Uh, and uh, you've also got another place along here where you can have fish and chips and stuff, which is pretty good. Uh, so it's called Drake's Fish and Chips, if you want to go and check that place out. Uh, you've got so bars and eats Nesba on on this place here too, as you can see. So you, you know you're not short of pubs on Nesba, which is a good thing. And uh, this is like the bus station here. And uh, if you're lost in Nesba, then you've got the signage right there. That's the bus station, as you can see. And. Uh, there you go guys, so I've just shown you parts of Naysborough.
I just had fish and chips at the Drake's fish and chip shop in Nairsburg. Absolutely fantastic haddock and chips. Uh, so I had one saute, one haddock and chips, and uh, it came to 19 pounds and 25 pence. Wheel of nice fish and chips. Um, a little bit expensive, but can't really complain when the service is good and when the food is really good. So I've had an absolutely fantastic day in Nesbur. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed me showing you around Nesbur today. Um, unfortunately, I couldn't really show you the food inside the restaurant because YouTube doesn't like it when I play Copper Mind music on YouTube. So I had to be a bit mindful of that. So apologies, guys. I couldn't really show you the food like I normally would in other places. But anyway, so I just want to say thanks a lot for watching. Stay safe. God bless and uh, hope to see you guys in the next one.